All right, so uh, I understand some people are having some problems and I wanted to do some troubleshooting uh, tips and such so that you can find out what's going on. Now, of course, that's completely expected. In fact, I still have it happen randomly out of nowhere. I'll forget something. I'll miss something. And the next thing you know, I have to go find out what I did. Um, one of the reasons that I did do two separate tutorials, one for code and one for artwork, is because you definitely want to run the game in between those changes so that you know, first of all, the code is fine. And then if anything crashes afterwards, you know that it's artwork you have to deal with. Um, so hopefully you're already aware of which one is causing your issue. Uh, if not, then you might just have to go through all of this, <laughs> all of these until you figure out what is going on. Okay, anyway, um, the first thing you're gonna start, we're gonna start with is going to be the code. Uh, let me show you a couple of tricks and things that you can do. The most common, uh, issue that you're going to have or the most common way of knowing that there's a problem is you're going to go to start the game, you're going to get the little hourglass, and it's just not going to start. And obviously that is quite the pain, because um, it doesn't give you any clues as to what might have happened. The first thing you're going to want to check, of course, is going to be uh, to make sure all of the wads were changed. Make sure that the capitalization is correct. If you've gone through every single one of them, including not just what's in the file, but the names of the files themselves. Um, and also, even though we didn't change the artwork itself, make sure that all of the artwork and the XML files have been changed. Not just the name of the XML file, but what's in it. And here's some things that might help you out. Okay, so we're going to go into the mod main first. Now, you've already gone through and you checked and you made sure all of this is right. Uh, go down here, and some of the things you want to check, if you changed the things that were written here, make sure that each uh, string here, make sure that after what you are describing or what is being listed here that you have a space an equal sign a space quotation marks and what you want it to say and quotation marks i realize that's kind of obvious but a lot of the times uh, you accidentally leave something like that out and it can mess things up um i'm not entirely sure that space actually matters because lua doesn't usually lua is what this is written in lua doesn't usually mind missing a space here and there but every once in a while it is something that's important. Okay. Um, anything that you see here that is in green is a comment. So it's something that the person who wrote the code put into the code just so you could read it if you're making changes. It doesn't get back to anything that happens in game. The way that you create that is by putting these two little dashes right here. So if you accidentally undid that, Oops, let's just do that right here. You'll see all of a sudden, that's code. And the game's going to be like, holy crap, what in the world is this? It doesn't make any sense. So make sure you didn't change any of those. Uh, sometimes that can happen, even if you only took one of them off. Um, that can definitely mess up the game, and it doesn't even really have anything to do with what you've been doing. Um, but that's also going to help you. So, go through here, you made sure that everything in the description of the character and everything is fine. Um, you want to, so everything's got quotation marks around it, everything's got the equal sign. Um, down here, where his actual quote the, that the character is saying, because of the fact that there are two sets of quotation marks, you have to have a slash right here and a slash right here. Um, so definitely make sure, and technically it's backslash, but anyway, make sure that that is as it's supposed to be, um, because even small things like that can mess up the game. Okay, now, down here is where we did the descriptions of things. One trick that you can do to find out what's going on, these are not absolutely necessary for your mod to run. 
They're just an option they put in there so that you can make things a little more customized. You can actually put dashes in front of those and comment them out so that the game does not read them as code and then run your game. If your game runs fine, you know that your problem is here in your descriptions and you can start working on it from there. Um, anything that is absolutely not necessary for your mod to actually run can be troubleshot that way. Now, uh, some of the common errors here or are that you might forget the, uh, equal sign. Um, or that when you actually put the description in here, you might have put it in brackets. You don't want to put it in brackets. The brackets are basically there to tell the game that, hey, we're going to be putting some strings here, they're going to be dealing with what Will says, and it's going to have some input in a minute. And then you do it in here again, it's going to be describing things, input will be coming here in a minute. Okay, so then once you have where he's actually describing it, you're putting the input in there. You don't need to put the brackets. Now, anybody who actually knows code might realize that that's not exactly the way that you could word it, but that's basically what's going on here. So, because um, I don't want to go into too many technical issues about uh, about Lua, but um, since this is a basic tutorial and such, uh, but uh, pretty much that's all you need to know. So if you actually have this going on, you do not want to put these quotes in brackets. Also, always make sure you have the equal sign. Another thing that could be an issue is whatever you have him describing might not actually be something that he can describe, or it might actually be uh, a different name. So one of the ways that you can figure that out is, well, if you do, comment things out and decide to come back and see what went wrong um, you can actually uncomment them one thing at a time so if I had, let's pretend that this here is actually describing something else I could come back in and say well let's see here, I don't know which one of these I'm having an issue with so I'll put that one back in, see if the game comes game runs then you know that that wasn't a problem. <laughs> so you keep doing it until your game crashes, and whichever one you just made a change to is going to be the one that you're having an issue with. Okay, so let me go ahead and remove this part here because these things should be working fine. If you aren't sure if it's something that actually uh, is the correct name, well, let's say you just did what I just told you to do and you determine which one it is. What you should do, or at least there may actually be listings online of exactly what things you can describe. I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, I've never actually gone that way. The way that I always do it is that I go to see, my don't star folder under the data and under the scripts. And in here you're going to find things like the prefabs. Prefabs are going to list a whole bunch of different stuff. If I want to describe a tree, evergreens are right here. And let's look right here, evergreen. Now you will notice that this one actually is uh, oralized, but if you go into the folder, uh, the, it is referred to as an evergreen throughout the entire folder. So that's how you know, hey, I'm describing an evergreen. Um, this can be a little hit or miss. Uh, if you absolutely cannot figure out what it should be referred to as, ask people. Ask them in the comments here. Go to the um, play forums. Uh, anything that you need to do to figure that out, download somebody else's uh, mod and look in their code. Uh, I'm sure you can probably find some interesting ones in there. Anybody that has customized names for anything. Um, let's see here. I want to describe a mosquito. But, uh, let's see here. Mosquito, mosquito, mosquito. See everything in here where the game refers to you're going to be talking about this mosquito or you're going to be playing a sound file regarding this mosquito, it says mosquito. 
So basically, you know that that is an object you can describe, you can interact with in some way. So that's basically what I do in order to do that. Um, hopefully that makes at least a little bit of sense. Um, if you changed the gender, change it back for a second just to see if that made any difference. It shouldn't. Uh, as long as you make sure that it is right after that dot, the period, and that there is a comma immediately after it. The three genders, it already says right here, are male, female, or robot. Um, everything here should be fine. Okay, so those are basically the things you're going to want to check here. Uh, let me go ahead and back out of that, and I'm not going to bother saving because I didn't really change anything. Alright, that would be the mod main. Let me get all the way back to where I was in my Don't Starve mod here. Okay, mod main takes care of mod info. Really, unless you changed anything regarding these over here with the equal signs, you shouldn't be having any issue with this at all. In fact, uh, you don't even need to make any changes to most of this. And I'm not even sure why the API version here says W. That doesn't even make any sense. Um, if you need to know what the current API is, and I actually don't even, I would have to go back and double check again. But you can find that information on the forums. You can look at any of your other mods that you currently have that aren't saying they're out of date. Really not that difficult. Um, it's not even necessary, honestly, because it'll just say, this is out of date, and the person will have to manually choose to play it. Uh, if it's telling you it's out of date, just go up a number until it works. Uh, they're not going to be releasing uh, new updated APIs all the time, so generally, unless a new uh, downloadable content or a new patch or something has come out, you're not going to need to be changing that from whatever the current is. Okay, so as long as everything that should be in quotes is in quotes, here you should be fine. Alright, let's go ahead and back that up. And then you're going to want to go into the scripts, go into prefabs. Of course, make sure that your character's name, that the prefab is named correctly in lowercase. Most everything in here from this point is going to be the same. Go down here. If you changed the, let's see, if you changed who the character sounds like, change it back to Wolfgang, see if it works. Should be fine, but every once in a while it crashes and I cannot figure out why. So I just go ahead and change that back and all of a sudden it works again. Again, anytime that you're putting information like this in, Make sure that there is an equal sign here, and that you have quotation marks around the information that you're putting. Okay, minimap. If you changed anything regarding the minimap, just put it back to Wilson. And check the game again, see if it works. The minimap is exceptionally particular. Now while you should be able to change it to any other character in the game, maybe it'll cause an issue, maybe it won't. Sometimes it, it, something happens and you just have no idea why it happened. <laughs> um, easiest thing to do, go back and change it to Wilson. If that works, your problem solved. Uh, you can look into it further to see if you can find out why the other person didn't work. That's completely up to you. Um, I usually just go with Wilson because it just saves a heck of a lot of hassle. Okay, and then let's say you added a... Uh, you added a power here. If your game is crashing on you, comment that power out. The space there is completely irrelevant. I just put it in there because I like it better. Um, do that. Run your game again. Your game runs fine. You know that your problem is with this particular code. Uh, sometimes the things that you might be listing here, well, it, listing the powers is one of the most complicated things in the game. So it's very likely that there could be an issue with that. So whichever power you're looking into, if you need to get help, ask for help. Um, go to the forums, check it out. 
chances are somebody else has tried to create a character with the same power or with a similar power, and somebody should be able to tell you what needs to be done there. Okay, and all of that should be the same. Let's see what else. If you have any other prefabs that you added, make sure that they're listed correctly. Now, I didn't go into adding any of that, so I'm not going to put it into the troubleshooting right now. I'll go over that when I tell you how to create different tabs and items and put them into the game. Okay, so... Images. The only thing that you need to do with images, make sure that the image itself is titled correctly, well, named correctly, and make sure that the XML file has everything changed to your character's name in here. There should be two of them in each XML file. Make sure the XML file itself is also changed. Make sure that every image has the name correct and has an associated XML file, which has the information correct within that file. And that pretty much is everything that you're going to want to go over. Let me just look through everything else. Everything should be fine. Okay, so... Well, for some odd reason, I have some stuff in here that shouldn't be in here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, okay, so if you're still having issues after this, post in the comments. We'll see what we can find out for you. Um, or, of course, go to Clay Forms as I uh, recommended, and we'll see what it is that we can figure out. Now, let's say that all of that was working fine, and what happened is that you did the artwork and now all of a sudden the inspection. A couple of things that that could be. Now I'm gonna assume you already did this where you changed well you renamed the build and where you renamed the animation file. In fact that is part of the code troubleshooting. Make sure that you did that. <laughs> um once you've uh changed that information the things that you're going to want to check, uh, let's see here. So this can be a little bit more complicated. Go in here, go through your portraits. Because of the fact that you're going to want to actually be checking this, you may need to actually do the conversions again. And in doing that, you're going to want to check and make sure that, um, Let's see if I can find my textual here. When you change things, when you convert them to a text file, you absolutely need to make sure that you have the settings correct. I always leave them exactly the same, except I click Generate Mitmaps. Um, some people have actually told me that the texture type needs to be 2D. When I do that, it crashes, but when they do it, for some reason it works. So if your game is still crashing, feel free to reconvert your images and try 2D and see if it works. I don't know why that would be different, but for some odd reason, people have said that that creates an issue for them. So go ahead and try that as well. Um, as long as everything else is the same, you really shouldn't have an issue with the images. So again, since images are a bit more complicated, if you're having an issue, go ahead and publish it, or post it in the comments, and we'll see what we can figure out for you. Um, okay, so that's pretty much the basics of troubleshooting. Um, we'll take the rest of them as they come, and see what we can do. Now I do want to say, if what happens is the game runs fine, then you enable the mod, and, uh, and you suddenly get an error, read what it says in the error, it usually tells you what you need to fix. So if you are missing an equal sign somewhere when you were doing descriptions, just go ahead and go in there and check them. If they all look fine, use the comments to take the descriptions out and see if the game runs. Uh, anything else, go ahead and post in the comments as I said, and we'll take them as they come. So anyway, thank you. I hope that helped you guys out a little bit, and I will be getting some more tutorials out here uh, as quick as I can. So thank you and goodbye.